gathered here today to celebrate and join Nancy Rumpf and Tyler Short in marriage. I thank all of you for joining us to celebrate this wonderful, wonderful event on this incredibly beautiful day. We appreciate you so being here. I have known you since you were, before you were born. I knew you as your mother walked around with you uh, before she gave birth. Um, I've known you for a long time. I've watched your sports, sporting events. I've had dinner with your family, vacations with your family. That's where we met each other most. And uh, I think it is incredible that we're all here today to celebrate this beautiful event, this beautiful marriage, this beautiful future. Please sit down. Dear God, thank you for bringing Nancy and Tyler together. Thank you for allowing all of us to share this celebration with them. We all pray that the love that they have for each other at this very moment is the same love that they will share for their lifetime together. Watch over them and all of us on this day that we celebrate with you. There will now be a reading by Emma. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. <laughs> it is having the capacity to forgive and forget it is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. <laughs> it is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Your wedding vows are an outward sign of your love and commitment. What creates a marriage is the promises made and kept in both of your hearts. With that, we'll begin the vows. In the name of God, I, Tyler, take you, Nancy, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for <laughs> and health, to love and cherish till we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Nancy, take you, Tyler, to be my husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted in death. This is my solemn vow. The wedding ring serves as a reminder to make today to each other. The circle is a symbol of the eternal bond. There is no beginning, there is no end. I give this ring to you as a symbol of my love, and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now I would never
now like to be the first person to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Short. to say a few words. You have made us so proud in everything that you do, from sports to academics, and mostly just being you. My wish for you, dear new, on your wedding day, to enjoy every moment and dance the night away. I love you. Now I know how Abraham Lincoln felt at the Gettysburg, Gettysburg address. <laughs> So then the next thing you know, Tyler is brought into our life. <clears throat> I think very few father-in-laws and son-in-laws really get to know each other. There's only so much time, sometimes there's distance. I can't think of a better husband than Tyler Short. Thank you. Woo! Nancy is one of the most selfless, thoughtful, and all-around hilarious people that I've ever gotten to know. I love that she never takes herself too seriously, and I can always count on her to lighten the mood with her, her sarcastic sense of humor. Above all, she is a true friend, and those can be hard to find. But let's raise a glass to this beautiful couple. May they have a beautiful life together. one of the best brothers I could ever ask for. He is very caring and I feel like we can I can always go to him for anything and he can help me through it. He's also very forgiving. Even after me chewing his PlayStation cords as a kid and tearing up his model cars, he still forgave me for it. Congratulations to both of you and I'd like to offer toast to the beginning of something great. Um, 
Tyler's been a pretty good mentor and has given me great life advice and has gotten me a lot and has gotten me out of a lot of trouble with my mother. <laughs> the day I figured out that he met this girl at the bar or whatever, I didn't really, you know, think anything of it because Tyler had a record of just having girlfriends. <laughs> Thankful for what she has done for Tyler and what they have accomplished together and cannot wait for their next chapter.